Okay, we're going to use PowerPoint to create uh, your own template for activities. So I'm going to start out, the very first thing is usually by default it's this widescreen. I think it would probably be best if you go ahead and go to um, design up here. And I'm, on, I'm in the in PowerPoint um, app. You're not going to have all the tools that you need if you use the web tool. So I'm in PowerPoint, just use it on your de desktop. So I'm going to go to design and then over here where it says um, slide size, instead of this being this wide screen, which this is what it is by default, I'm going to change it to standard and ensure fit. So just kind of giving you that little heads up, it's going to fit better in the seesaw um, template area if you, if you have it like that. So I'm going to go back to home and from here we're just going to start create this is a blank canvas so depending on what you're wanting to do um, whatever you want your template to be so so the first thing I'm just going to pull in is a shape so I'm going to go to insert shapes and I think I'll pull in maybe just a banner at the top and you know you can change your fill if you want it to be a different fill if you want it to be a different outline um, if you want your lines to be darker okay then and then the next thing I mean this you know your title is going to go here whatever you want it to be so that looks good now remember you're not going to pull in your words here right this is literally just your um, background or the template Okay, so here's my word family sort. Honestly, all you have left to do now is just at the top, I would do like, these are going to be app words. These are going to be am words. Okay. So we're going to call that good. Now that is really, really basic and simple. There's not much to it. But my point in this is basically just that all you want is a some type of a blank canvas that you can then use for your uh, whatever the activity is. So now this is the important part. When you add this to Seesaw, it's going to have to be um, an image. So when you come over here to file, you want to do save as, and then this is, I'm going to name this word family sort, except I don't want to save it as a PowerPoint, right? I want to save it as an image. So if you click on that drop down button and you go all the way down here, um, JPEG right there. So if you just click on JPEG file or PNG, but really JPEG's fine. Um, and click Save. It's going to say, hey, do you want just this slide or do you want all the slides? And I just want this slide. So I'm going to download that. It should, it's in my download folder now. And I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new activity. And I'm going to call this Word Family Sort. And then you could put your your instructions in. I've already I have another video that explains how to do that. So right now I'm not going to do that. I'm just actually going to pretend like I've put all my instructions in. Okay, so you've got two things here. Remember, you can always click this and record your voice reading the instructions. You can click this and you can upload anything that you want, but please don't upload what we just made into this area. You want to upload your template for student response. That's your, um, that's what we just made was the template out of PowerPoint. So I'm going to click here and upload. I'm ready to select this from my computer. Okay, so here's the, the image that we just saved. I'm going to click this and I'm going to click open and it's going to drop it in here. 
and notice you have lots more options here so if you wanted to do several different templates and put one on each page you can have up to 10 but right now I'm just going to do one so I'm going to click check this is what it's going to look like for the kids so whenever it pulls it in it actually pulls it in as a background image um, which you cannot write I and mean, you can't move this this is just in here so from here then you can layer things on here so this is where I would put in the words and you can also um, pull in so let's say that I want to do images so if I wanted to do a picture of a mop so I'm going to save image as mop it's in my downloads folder and pull in that picture of the mop So my point being is that you can either do this with images or you could do it with words. What you've done is you've created a template. You have, you can layer words on top of here. You can add whatever you want. You, but what you're going to do is just click the check. And then here is what they're going to see. And we're going to click save. Instead of using the upload, which puts the, puts the image as the background, I'm going to go to drawing. I'm just showing you another way you can do it. So in, from here, I'm going to go to upload, and I'm going to go get my image of the template right here, Word Family Sort. The difference in this and the other way is that now it's, a, it's fixed. However... If you drag it big, you can you have more control over what size this is this way. Then the three dots right here, if you just go to lock, then that has created this. It's still a background. You can still type your word. You can still pull in the images. Um, that's basically it. That's exactly the same way. Um, it's just two different options. I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how you would use a PowerPoint as a, a tool to create a canvas or a template for your kids to work on. So I uh, hope that helps.